Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out The Barbarian. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. In the studio, I've got an absolute beast. This thing is the meanest guitar I've ever played. So this guitar is part of an ongoing series I have where I find instruments that I normally wouldn't play. And it started off with a Gretsch hollow body, then a Jazzmaster, uh, then the Schecter Ultra 3, and now we've got the Wild Audio Barbarian. Now, as you guys know, I'm definitely not a metal player, but I've got a couple awesome high gain amps. We're going to plug this thing in and have some fun. Now, if you guys want to jump to a specific section of this demo, I will put all the times in the video description below. We're going to hit up the highlights so you guys know what this guitar is and how it's made. Then we'll do some tones. We'll talk about playability and uh, ergonomics, that kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's jump in and check out the highlights. Now, first things first, the Barbarian was designed by Zach Wilde. So he's taken some iconic shapes like the SG, uh, the Explorer, the Les Paul, uh, the Flying V, and made them like hyper, hyper aggressive. So in comparison, I just want to quickly show you guys, this is my SG. This is the SG3. Sorry, I'm just going to hold it away from my body because I'm wearing a black shirt. So I think we all know what the SG is. And in my mind, this is a very aggressive, you know, guitar design. Now, when you hold it up against the Barbarian, you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. So, I mean, Zach has taken the SG and made it look, you know, pretty tame in comparison. So anyway, I just wanted to, to do a quick, you know, body comparison between an SG and the Barbarian. All right, let's quickly hit up some highlights so you guys know what this guitar is made of. First of all, we've got a three-piece maple neck in a satin finish, really comfortable. Uh, interesting neck profile on this one. It's called the Zach C. We'll talk about that when we get to our ergonomic section. Uh, so yes, three-piece maple neck. We've got Grover blacked out tuning machines. So just regular Grovers, no lockers on this one, um, but looks pretty cool. Now the fingerboard is made of ebony. The radius is 14, so just slightly flatter than a Les Paul. We've got extra jumbo frets and oversized inlays. And I've got to say the inlays actually catch and reflect light very nicely. Um, nicer than some other guitars I've seen for sure. Fret work, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we've got a three piece mahogany body. You can see when you look at the edges that it's three separate pieces. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but Three-piece mahogany, and this guitar <laughs> has like an insane burl top. Most models will be either flame maple, or I think they just have like a jet black version and, and some other versions, but this one is burl, and it's front and back. So, you know, pretty astonishing uh, woodwork on this one. So that, I think, is just a burl veneer over top of the mahogany. Now, as for the rest of the guitar, we've got a classic combination of the EMG 81 and 85, you know, absolutely iconic sound. So I think, you know, many of us are used to that kind of tone. And then we've got a Tone Pro saddle and bridge, and that just means they have little Allen key adjustments to keep everything locked in. Really nice system. Then we've got a three-way switch right here, and then we've got two volumes and a tone. All right, you guys, let's have some fun and plug in the Barbarian. Let's start with the Hughes and Kettner in the Ultra channel. Then let's move over to the dual rectifier in channel three and check out some of those iconic high gain tones.
So now let's back the gain off and try this guitar with some basic overdrive. <laughs> A creeping suspicion that this guitar is not going to be played without a lot of gain but you know what we're here this is how i roll let's listen to some clean tones Alright, now let's throw the beast into a mix and see how it sits with other instruments. Let's do our one minute solo. <laughs> So now let's move on and talk about the overall fit and finish of this guitar because it is a new brand to me. I've never played on a Wild Audio instrument before. So here we go, let's talk about the overall construction. Now starting up on the headstock, I think aesthetically it looks really nice. I like the stylized W with the pinstripes coming down. I think it looks good and the headstock shape. Now in terms of construction, looks great. The, the binding that you know goes around the headstock wherever it meets looks really nice, especially because the, the design of that headstock is quite ornate with all those different uh, angles and, and curves. So I think it looks really good. Now moving on to the nut. This is a Graph Tech nut and I'll take a close-up shot for you guys. It is like ultra clean. Looks really, really fantastic. So that is good news. And of course, we already talked about the Grovers. Um, you know, they're foolproof tuners. Maybe in this price range, I'm, I would have expected maybe lockers, but you know, these are really good tuning machines. So no, no huge complaints there. Um, but for a guitar that's, you know, in and around you know the up just over a thousand dollars i think um you know i might expect some locking tuners but it's kind of neither here nor there they're great tuning machines now neck as i mentioned maple nice and satin you know easy to get around on love those satin necks now on the front side let's talk about the fretwork because you know this is really important and i've got to say the fretwork is awesome super good i was very very pleased about this so i'll take some uh, some close-up shots again for you guys uh, really, really nice fret work. You know, those jumbo frets are smooth. Uh, the binding on the neck, really nice, you know, and as I mentioned, all those inlays, uh, really vibrant and reflect light. So, you know, very pleased with the neck because, you know, this is how we interact with a guitar. So really nice. Now, as for the body, uh, really interesting design with this burl top. You know, I haven't really, I don't own any burl top guitars. So, 
you know, very, very unique. Um, and how it's sort of inset over the main body. Looks pretty cool for sure. Three piece mahogany body, as I mentioned. Um, and overall, you know, the fit and finish in terms of like the hardware and, and how it sits in the body, all of it looks great. Now the only weird thing I could find on this guitar is up here on the heel where the maple meets the mahogany. They kind of stained the maple a little bit further up and I'm not sure why they did that because you know the mahogany looks great, the maple looks great, the joint is great, but they just kind of took some stain and just kind of extended it onto the maple for some reason. So I've never seen that on a guitar before. So you know that's the only thing I could find that was you know a little out of the ordinary. So overall really happy with the construction on the Barbarian. Let's talk about the ergonomics. Now as you guys may know, SGs are famous for one thing, and of course the Barbarian is based on the SG, so let's find out if it has that famous SG headstock dive. Yes! <laughs> so the Barbarian dives pretty hard, so you're going to want to wear it with a strap to keep it under control because, you know, without it you kind of have to, you know, support it with your right hand, you know, as you're doing your chugging or whatever. Um, so that's just something, you know, I thought you should know. Uh, I had high hopes because it does look like it carries a fair amount of weight on the back, but it is a pretty lightweight guitar, which is a positive. Uh, the downside is it dives. All right, so now let's talk about the playability on the neck and the Zach C neck profile. Really interesting profile. Um, to my hand, it does not feel like a C. It's not quite full enough in the back here. It feels more like a D shape in that it's got shoulders, like some pretty prominent shoulders actually on the top and bottom, and then some slight flattening on the back. So it doesn't feel like a continuous, you know, kind of C shape. It feels much more like a D profile, but it is called the Zach C. So. There you go. Now, if you're looking for a guitar that, you know, like this, that you're going to be playing metal and heavy rock on, um, but you don't like, you know, like Ibanez wizard necks or something like that, like you don't like those super thin shreddy necks and you just want something, you know, a little bit fuller, this is actually going to be a pretty good option because it's full all the way up, um, you know, just a really beefy neck profile and, you know, Obviously, you know, Wild Audio is a totally new brand to me, so uh, I've never played on any of these, these necks. But yeah, really interesting. So if you like riffing and you want an aggressive guitar, but you hate those skinny necks, this one might be for you. So here are my final thoughts on the Zach Wild Barbarian. Now, admittedly, this is the type of guitar, if I were in a music store, I would walk straight past onto, you know, the section of Telecasters or whatever, but that is kind of the point of this series. You know, finding that big body Gretsch or the Jazzmaster or the Ultra 3 or whatever, these are all guitars, you know, in the past I would just walk straight past and not give, you know, a second thought to. But, you know, sometimes you find some gems and I've definitely, you know, learned to love that Gretsch and that Jazzmaster and these other models. Um, so stretching yourself and finding you know guitars that you normally wouldn't play um, is quite rewarding so that's the first thing even though you know i normally wouldn't play on this guitar it was a ton of fun to play number two it's built really well especially the neck that satin neck that thicker profile those really really nice frets you know it played really well now ergonomically up against your body and stuff it feels good it looks crazy aggressive but it feels really nice the only downside of course is that typical sg neck dive so that does suck but you know overall construction great playability uh, in terms of the neck and getting around great and if you like aggressive styling i mean you just can't beat this so i hope you guys are enjoying this series if there's any other slightly unusual brands or models that you'd like to see featured on the channel let me know in the comments below i'll see what i can do for you guys other than that, all my personal links, gear links, um, tab store, all that stuff is in the video description. Feel free to check it out there. Have yourself a great day. I'm sorry. These books are a little overdue. <laughs> Conan the Librarian. Tonight, only on U62.